Good morning, everybody. This is Max Ferro from DexFXCopy.com, and today is February 23rd, 2018, and this is your daily update. All right, folks, so we're going to get started today, and I don't want to make this too long of a webinar. There's a lot of work to be done, but there is a mentality when you first start trading that your your anticipation is huge and it's all about the timing right if you're if you're just starting out you're just starting out and let's just say that you started with us in i don't know the beginning of february okay you started out february 1st okay and February 1st, you set up the bot and you got everything on board or you set up the relationship between it and you got on board with a max prime, okay? And some of you did. Now, each one of you has a different varying degree of success because depending on where you got in and how you got in is how much money you've made or how much you, it's attempted to be made or or whatever, right? You're all gonna have different ideas and and, and visions of what the success is for you. You're, you're going to look at the sheet that I'm going to show you in a second and you're going to be like, well, wait a minute, one person could make more than the other person at this particular, yeah, of course they can. Because think about it this way. If, let's just say, investor one gets in February 1st. And February 1st, we got a great day, right? So this is February 1st. And then person two gets in here, February 2nd. Let's just say February 2nd is right here. Okay, and person two gets in on February 2nd. So February 1st guy gets in and it goes really great for him. And then the next day we have a down day. Okay, let's just say we have that down day. But February, so February 2nd guy's like, wait a minute, this isn't working. You get where I'm going? And this is the kind of mentality that some people get to when you first get in. If you, if you have a loss, oh, it can't work. You always got to win. Why is it a 30% increase every day? And, and then when I get in, it goes down. There's a lot of questions that a lot of people get at this particular level, right? February 3rd guy is like, I'm loving it, you know, because I got in and it went up. February 4th guy is hating it because it's it just went down for him. You get where I'm going with this? So it's all a matter of perspective of where you get in at and what you've done. So what I want you to do is not to look at daily success rates or even weekly success rates. This is important. Don't get me wrong. Weekly is really important. It's the monthly overall that we're really looking at. Okay. And if you get in on February 23rd and we have a bad day or February 22nd, we have a bad couple of days with the system. Okay. If we have a couple of down, I won't even say bad. Okay, because what are these? These are pullbacks from the system, from the strategy, and we understand those. But as long as we continue to climb, overall, the whole thing is great. So these non-profit days are part of the system. Okay, so I just want you to keep that in mind. I don't want to always be having these videos of explaining to you, why are we losing? Why is the system losing? I want you to know that even a Dex Grinch with doing so many days in a row successful are going to have a couple of consecutive days. We've proven that here. So this is, we have one, two right now that we're having. We had one, two that we're having right here. All right, so, but back here was variable upsetness. <laughs> there was an issue with the variables and we fixed that. Here, it was a thing with the JPY. JPY hated us the other day. Okay, so let's look at the Max Prime. That was the Dex Grinch. Let's look at the Max Prime. Now, we protected the account on Max Prime because as Dex Grinch started to fail a little, the numbers started to shift. We shifted with the numbers. Okay, and we protected the account. Now, we were up higher. We were close to 400 and something. We were 50 pips higher in for the month and about uh, $20 or $20. Two, if you know, four or five dollars higher in the monthly amount. 
So we, we, we protected the system, which was good. We only lost, as you can kind of see here, this amount. And that's okay. This is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dollars, you know, ten dollars right in that area. But for some of you that are trading, that would be trading higher multipliers, that would seem significant. But the overall for the month, if you're if you're a February 1st guy, you're loving life because you're in the positive. You may not think that that's a lot, but move the dot, right? Move the dot. If you're doing 01, multiplier of one, you only made 21 bucks. You did a multiplier of two, you did 42. You see what I'm saying? You did a multiplier of 10, you did 214. You did a multiplier of 100, you did 2,141. Okay. So once you get your perspective down on what's working and what's not working, it sort of makes sense for you. We are still loving the Vader on the one asset for all you fast forward guys. Huge. Okay. We had another one, another USD close out yesterday. 29 pips. Loving it. Okay. Still not getting a, um, a good turnaround on the Canon. We're still looking for a, uh, a better solution in than we have the, the Great Britain Pound USD. Still working out really, really good for us. Okay, but we haven't included this into now because yesterday it was at sitting at like 78%, today it's at 80%. So we're gonna, we're gonna probably include this into, into the system. Now, before I do, I have to warn you, right now the Grinch is creating and only uses small margins to get into trades, right? If it loses, it's losing a dollar thirty. If it wins, it's winning two sixty. Okay. This R one to two value is important. Now, the Great Britain pounds R value is a little bit, a little bit different. And let me show you. Let's let's isolate some of the. Isolate the symbols here. Go down. Let's see if I can find the right page. Keep searching. There it is. Okay. So you can see here that the some of the some of the British gold pound, Great Britain pound USD, we got 37 pips, we got minus 68 pips, so we gotta be careful. These are longer. These are these are shorter term, longer terms. You know, twenty one hours, six hours, six hours, twelve hours, with with mass movement. But nothing too crazy as far as. Let me go back one. Okay, there we go. I'd say nothing bigger than okay. There's a oh that's a JPY. Okay, so that's pretty good. We got about a sixty pip loss right here. Is the biggest and worst one out of them all. So, but we got a lot of 59 wins, 36 wins, 35 wins. So that's looking pretty good. So this will be one that we will put into the system. But I want you to keep in mind that if we get one that loses off the bat and you're just starting, please keep your mentality in check. I know it may be frustrating that you just started. Somebody may have just started. Some of you that have been here for a while and, you've, and you've, you're in the profit margin. I looked at one person's account. He had a multiplier of four. Multiplier of four on his system from February 2nd. Trading from February 2nd. And he's loving it. I had somebody who started yesterday, had a couple of losses, and got a little frustrated with me because they didn't want to hear the answers. You got to be prepared to hear the answers. I'm very transparent. I'm going to show you when it's losing. I'm going to show you when it's winning. And I have to start changing my own terminology. You know, how many of you would have, it, it, uh, three months ago, a month ago, a year ago, a day ago, would have looked at this information and went, oh, that is beautiful. Why is this so beautiful? Man, I could pick out the gems all day long on this. Look at this. Reversal. Straight with it. 80%. You kidding me? Holy crap. It's huge. Pop that into a portfolio. 
Don't really want it. Don't really need it. Don't even want to look at it. Stay away from me. You make me scared. <laughs> you get where I'm going? This one's great too. Look at this. 41 and 52 cents. So that's more than $10 per trade in a reversal. Reverse that bad boy. Right? How many of you would have looked at a chart like this and went, all right, let's see what they got. <laughs> Instead of like, nope, next, swipe left. Right? How many of you would have taken the time to test it to find out, oh my God, with this bot, I got 94% on the USDC AD. And Max filters that into a portfolio for me and I don't even have to worry about it. I take the Max Prime. Are you kidding me? I'm on. All right. So the Grinch had a couple of bad days. Boom, boom. Day's not even finished yet. We've got a couple. I don't even know if we have any trades on right now. It doesn't look like we do. Last batch of trades came over pretty hard with this morning's news. We might be looking at a news filtering system on there, but I'm not sure yet. I have to run tests on that. That's a whole other process. Anytime you change one variable in this system now, I'm not looking to kill a fly with a nuclear bomb here, okay? Because I want you to look at this. The Dex Grinch, if you started just using the Dex Grinch, if you're using fast forward with the network, you started with the Dex Grinch, look what you've done in a month. Are you kidding me? You can't be kicking yourself for anything here. This is incredible. So don't be looking at dailies going, oh, this ain't working. If you drop down for the week, if you were below on the week, don't 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 punch yourself in the face. This is not about a weekly paycheck. You should be looking at this money that you're making as quarterly paychecks for yourself. And if you're not in the position to do that, then we got to reassess what's important. If you're punching this to try to put daily bread on your table, then we didn't have a good enough talk. This is not just about today's money or tomorrow or next week or next month. This is about the next 10 years. I don't plan to go anywhere. A customer asked me two days ago, well, what happens if you leave? Does it, does it affect my account? Well, of course it would. If I left and didn't trade anymore, unless you're trading it yourself or if my systems didn't trade anymore. Can you guarantee you're going to be here for the next five years? No, I can't guarantee anything. But what I can tell you, what I can't, you know what? I can guarantee something. I can guarantee you that I'm going to work my ass off every single day to get to that point of profit and work my ass off to find out What's the next thing we have to do to can keep it going? Any company that's a set and forget and just put one thing on and one thing always works will fail. It will drop. The market will figure it out. But when we diversify our techniques and diversify our strategies, this is where we keep the market on their toes. I'm going to let you go now. I appreciate all your time. And you know, as, as, as customers or investors, as friends, as family, please keep patient. Please keep disciplined. Don't fret. Look at the longer numbers. And of course, keep your ideals for the future, not just about today. I'm Max. This is Dex. And as always, trade well.